Hey there. So if you're looking for another way to learn about the places your ancestors lived, gazetteers are something to be explored. So in this short video, I'll show you what gazetteers are and how to find them. And yes, there are many available for free online. So for those of you who don't know me yet, I am Julie Cahill Tarr with Genealogy in Action, and I provide tips and tricks to make your genealogy life easier and more productive so you can find your elusive ancestors quickly and confidently. So if you're a dedicated genealogist looking to uplevel your research skills, you are in the right place. Now, in this video, I want to talk about gazetteers, which are one of my favorite resources for learning about places. And be sure to stick around to the end where I'll share two pro tips so you can find and utilize gazetteers with ease. All right, let's jump in. Now, first, you may be wondering what the heck a gazetteer is. Now, many years ago, when I was first encouraged to seek out a gazetteer, I had no idea what the person was talking about. But as a growing genealogist, I did some research and I learned that a gazetteer is basically a dictionary of places. I then found several gazetteers online, explored them, and understood why they are so important for genealogy research. Gazetteers come in different shapes and sizes, but for the most part, you can learn all sorts of things about cities, towns, counties, and even things like churches, schools, and other buildings. You may also learn about physical features such as lakes, rivers, mountains, and more. And what's nice is that you can also learn about variant spellings of the place name, place name changes, and any places that are now defunct. Now, some gazetteers also contain historical data related to the place, including social statistics, boundary changes, and the overall history of a place. This is good stuff, right? So here's a portion of a page from a complete descriptive and statistical gazetteer of the United States published in 1840 to kind of give you an idea of what a gazetteer might look like. And gazetteers are definitely something you'll want to seek out, but where can you find them? Well, I've got four places you can look. Now, gazetteers that are in book form can be found in libraries. So searching a library catalogs um, in the places of interest or using a catalog such as WorldCat are places to start. However, there are a lot of gazetteers digitized and available online, often for free. So I would search the three main digital book websites, Google Books, Hattie Trust, and Internet Archive. You may also find them digitized through Family Search, Ancestry, and other genealogy related websites. And don't neglect digital archives collections all over the Internet. Additionally, there are several websites that themselves are considered gazetteers, because remember, a gazetteer is simply a dictionary of places. So websites such as John Grenham's Irish Place Names, the Gazetteer of British Place Names, and Myers Gazetteer are also worth a look. Now, some of the websites are actually based off a published book like Myers Gazetteer website, Sometimes the websites are compilations based on a variety of sources, and I've put links to these three in the description for this video, but just know that there are others out there. But before you start searching the internet, I have an easier way to find these gems. So the Family Search Wiki has a page dedicated to gazetteers. And from this one-stop shop, you can pick a country or a U.S. state and head to a page with a listing of the various gazetteers available. And there is also a listing of universal gazetteers. Now, many of these lists are extensive, but I can't say that they are exhaustive. But it's a great starting point, and once you've checked it out, 
then you can use the other three ways to find even more. And don't worry, I put a link to the wiki page in the description for this video. Now, before you head off in search of gazetteers, I want to share two pro tips with you so that you can better find and more importantly, use gazetteers effectively. So my first tip, the term gazetteer may not be part of the title. So you might wanna try replacing gazetteer with words like dictionary or directory or index. And my second and more important tip is to make sure you read and make a copy of any introductory material so you know what was included and how the information was compiled, as well as any key or abbreviation list so you can decipher the entries correctly. So now that you know what a gazetteer is and four ways to find them, it's time for you to take action. So pick a location related to a project you're currently working on. And using the information in this video, look for gazetteers related to that location. And I would really love it if you would come back here and post what you find in the comments for this video. Because who knows, you may help someone else or you might even connect with another researcher who is interested in the same places you are. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're ready to check out some gazetteers so you can learn more about the places your ancestors lived. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more genealogy tips and tricks using the button below and click the little bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released. Bye for now.